if you run your own practice, you definitely must have all sorts of decisions you have to make on a daily basis, like little teeny tiny decisions, huge decisions. Should we expand? Should we buy a new clinic site? All sorts of decisions. But I will tell you, there's one thing that will help you make good decisions across the board. So stay tuned. And we're going to dive into that one very simple yet important thing to make all decisions. Hi, I'm Dr. Annie DePasquale, the owner and founder of Collaborating Docs. We help entrepreneurial nurse practitioners connect with fabulous collaborating physicians. Today's video is all about making great, great, great decisions. And what is that one trick to make those decisions? It is data data, make data driven decisions. So if you are thinking, let's start with something very silly and small. What color should you paint your waiting room? You can go to the internet. I am not kidding. And look that up. You might use chat GPT. There is actual data out there. People who have been there and done that, like large medical companies, They've invested lots of money and lots of paint onto figuring out the best color. I don't know the answer. I haven't done the research, but I know it's out there. You know that the big, you know, Kaisers of the world have tested this sort of thing. There's probably a calming color or a, you know, something that brings you tranquility while you're waiting, 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 waiting in the waiting room. So you don't have to run the test in this case. You can just look at the data someone else has done and implement. Now that's kind of a frivolous idea or a frivolous topic, but let's do a, a much, much more important one. Like, should I open a second location? Business is good. Business is booming. Making great profit. Like, this is amazing. I'm going to open a second practice. You better have the data to back that up. And what kind of data do you need? What are your financial projections for the future at your current site? Are you actually going to run out of room or no, there are three empty offices right here. So I could just expand here rather than expanding somewhere else. You want to look at the data of the new location that you're thinking of. So, you know, what kind of foot traffic, what kind of highway traffic is nearby? Like, how can people get here? How can they park here? How would that go? Talk to other people in the building. Like, hey, how have your show rates been? What kind of complaints or compliments do you get from your clientele? Oh, they love this office space because there's, you know, free parking under the building or, you know, whatever it might be. So you're gathering data, 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 data. Recently, from my own company with Collaborating Docs, we thought or I thought truly that people like to talk to us before work, at their lunch break, at the end of the day. But then we looked at the data. When did people actually book calls to talk to us to learn about our service? And it wasn't what I thought. It was heavily in the afternoon, even the mid-afternoon, which I never would have guessed. I thought mid-afternoon is when people are working. But I guess if you're working on your practice, maybe you have, you know, it's a good opportunity to talk to us. So making decisions without looking at the data can be extremely costly, right? You need to know, I needed to know when I needed staff to man the phone, so to speak. It's not man the phones. We do Zoom calls, but have people on the schedule. I needed to know that to make the most um, profound effects on our business. So whatever decision you're making, first think what sort of mathematical calculation numbers thing can I look at to make it and then proceed. So stop relying so much on your gut, your heart, your head, and start relying on your calculator to help you make those decisions. And it will, it will really profoundly make an impact. Hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time.